The first question you're going to answer guys, whether it's Econ 3 or Econ 4, is going to be a five mark question. And that will come from whichever context you pick. That five mark question is going to carry marks for a calculation and for you to write a significant feature of data set or a significant point of comparison for a data set. Right? So you're going to get up to three marks for doing a calculation. That calculation could be anything, but it's important that when you do this calculation, you show all your working, just in case you mess up the final number for whatever reason, and that you keep the units in, you keep the currency in, you keep the percent in, whatever you're working with, you keep that in. Right? That's important. Up to three marks. If you do that perfectly, three marks. The other marks come from the significant feature of the data or significant points of comparison uh, given a data set. Now, you should remember how to do that from AS level. In case you've forgotten, I have a video uh, in this playlist for you to refresh yourself to focus on what is significant when it comes to data according to what the examiner is looking for. So that could be quite a useful video just in case you've forgotten. But that's where the other marks lie. And up to three marks for doing that. So just in case for some reason you haven't got three marks on the calculation, maybe you screwed up the final number, you made a mistake, you forgot percent or you forgot pound sign or something, then there are three marks available for doing this data part of the question. The key thing to remember when you do this is that you need to make a point, so maybe a significant feature is a high point of this data or a low point of this data, maybe a significant point of comparison is to compare the trends of two variables, Maybe it's to compare the two high points, or the two low points, or two averages, whatever. Um, but then the second mark, the key thing, is that you back up that point with data. Remember that. So data you need to back up whatever point you've made, whatever significant point you've made. Whether it's a feature, whether it's a point of comparison, data to back it up will give you the extra marks. Right, so that should be fine in terms of getting five marks. Should be absolutely fine, but the key thing in your head is to be fast and accurate really important because you know you've got more important questions in the paper, the 10 mark after, the 25 marker and then the 15 to 25 marker coming later. They are far more important uh, in terms of number of marks and in terms of time. So you need to make sure that this is done really fast. The quicker you do it, better as long as you know you're going to hit five marks. Hopefully that's clear. Nail this question. See you in the next few videos where we cover other questions and technique to answer those. Thanks for watching. See you then.